me, lines are very important. So how important are lines to a car? We start off drawing lines, and every line to me has a value. It can be a poor line, it can be a really strong line, but to me it has to have a spontaneity as well, something that looks as very natural. Overall, the lines of the car make up the shape, and the shape of the car makes up the emotion. So the lines are fundamentally the starting point of any design of any car, and it starts with pencil and paper. I've only been to Wimbledon a couple of times, but it fascinates me. I love things which are very simple, and you can get something visually simple mm -hmm. than a, a pure lawn the way it is here. So tell me about the white lines and how do you set them up? The lines are probably as important, if not more important, than the actual playing surface itself because we're talking about precision within millimetres if you're thinking about Hawkeye. So we do the traditional three, four and five to get our rectangles. We then string them down and then we painstakingly mark the lines out. But it's those little intricate details that we're just constantly thinking about to sort of improve. That's what perfection is about, isn't it? What do the lines of the car tell us about the XF Sport Brake? I always say it's important a Jaguar looks like it's moving even when it's standing still. When we get to the excess sport brake, what we've done with this car is create a silhouette which sweeps off the back of the car almost into the distance and it really gives that car a sense of speed. And it's very different from a saloon car, but I think in many ways it's just as sporty, if not even more sporty, because it's got a dynamic about it, it's got a direction about it mm -hmm. which is very appealing.